if I told you that you could build a complete production ready, your own AI powered app with a database, backend, AI assistant, and hosting in less than 10 minutes without writing a single line of code. Sounds impossible, right? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you today with Brio AI. By the end of this video, you'll now hand your ideas into fully functional applications just by having a conversation. So let's dive in. Today we're exploring Creo AI, a revolutionary no-code platform that's changing the game for entrepreneurs, small business owners, and anyone who's ever had a great app idea but didn't know how to code. This isn't just another app builder. Creo creates AI native applications with built-in co-pilots. So stick around because I'm going to walk you through everything step by step. First things first, head over to Creo.ai. I'll drop the link in the description below. Just grab the link and create an account. The best part? Creo offers a completely free tier with 30 credits per month, and you don't even need a credit card to get started. So there's literally zero risk to try this out. Once you are logged in, your interface will be like this. This is your command center. On the left side, you'll see your projects. This is where all your apps will live. In the center, there's a big chat interface that says something like, I want to build a... This is where the magic happens. You'll also notice some example templates under the prompt box. These are great for inspiration and you can actually remix them to customize for your needs. But today we're building something from scratch. All right, let's build something practical. I'm going to create a simple project management tool for freelancers, something to track clients, projects, deadlines, and invoices. In the chat box, I'm going to type, build me a freelance project management app. I need to track clients with their contact information active projects with deadlines and status, and invoices with payment tracking. Include a dashboard that shows upcoming deadlines and unpaid invoices. Now watch this. I hit enter, and Creo immediately starts working. You'll see it thinking through the requirements. First, it asks for enable integrations. According to the project, it suggests some integrations. You can see more integration options by clicking here. Here you will find a bunch of options, including various AI tools and social media platforms. You can integrate them from here. However, I will select the recommended integrations. Once done, click on continue. Now Creo AI will analyze the project and create a product brief. You can customize them. If you are satisfied, hit the enter button. Now, the AI will start building our app in real time. You can see the preview. It will explore the code base structure and available components. Generate the data layer for Google Sheets integration using the data layer generation agent. Generate data schema with the RAF CLI based on requirements. Review the generated schema files for accuracy. Create the dashboard route file. Create the client's route file. Create the project's route file, and so on. The process will take some time. So I will fast forward the video. And here it is, we are done. Now, we have to authenticate with some integration. Just give permission and set it up. Okay, the first version is ready. Creo has created a multi-page app with a dashboard, a client's page, a project's page, and an invoices section. Pretty impressive for just one sentence, right? Now let's say I want to make some changes. Maybe I want the dashboard to show a chart of monthly revenue. I can just type in the chat, add a monthly revenue chart to the dashboard showing income from paid invoices and you can see that the AI has started its work, you just have to confirm the integration, and the AI will handle the rest. And just like that, Creo updates the app in real time. You can keep iterating like this, adding features, changing layouts, modifying colors, all through conversation. It's like having a developer on speed dial who never gets tired. For example, I want to change the interface. I am typing, make the app fully responsive with a dynamic UI design, and here is my result. You can see that it has now become a fully mobile responsive app with an interesting UI design. You can explore each part individually. Now here's where things get really interesting. See that little chat icon in your app? That's your built-in AI co-pilot. Let me show you how powerful this is. I'm going to click on it and ask, show me all projects with deadlines in the next seven days. The co-pilot instantly understands the context of my app queries the database, and gives me exactly what I asked for. I can also ask it to do things like, create a new invoice for client John Smith for $2,500. The co-pilot can read, write, and analyze your data. 
it's like having a smart assistant that knows your business inside and out. Okay, now let's add some sample data so you can see how this works in practice. I'm going to go to the clients page and click add new client. I'll fill in a name, email, phone number, and company. Hit save. Now I'll create a project for this client. I'll go to projects, click add new, select the client from the dropdown, give it a name, set a deadline, and choose a status like active, and our project is created. You can also use the copilot to add data. I could literally say, add a new client named Sarah Johnson, email sarah at example.com, phone 555-1234, and it'll do it for me. How cool is that? Once your app is ready, it's time to share it. Click on the share icon or go to your project settings. You'll see options for access management. You can make your app public, share it with specific people via email, or keep it private. Creo also lets you set permissions. Some users can just view, others can edit, and some can even clone your app to make their own version. The really cool thing, your app is already hosted and live. Creo handles all the back-end infrastructure, so you don't need to worry about servers, databases, or any of that technical stuff. Just share the link and you're good to go. Here's a pro tip. Creo has built-in version control. Every time you make changes, it saves a version. If you ever mess something up or want to go back to a previous version, and you can preview and restore any previous version, this is a lifesaver when you're experimenting with new features. Now what if you want your app to connect with other tools you're already using? Creo makes this super easy with one-click integrations. You'll see a library of popular apps, things like Gmail, Google Sheets, Slack, Notion, and more. Let's say I want to send an email notification when a project deadline is approaching. I can click on the Gmail integration, authorize access, and then tell Creo, send me an email reminder three days before any project deadline. Creo also supports custom API connections and model context protocol, which means you can connect to pretty much any tool or database you use. This is huge for businesses that already have existing systems. For example, I created this product development dashboard app, and now I want to connect it with Claude Sonnet. To do that, come to the project dashboard and then the settings icon from here. Once you are on this page, copy the MCP connection URL link and then log in to your Claude account. Now click on the Claude profile icon and then select settings. After coming to the settings page, click on connectors. Here you will find all the connectors. To connect with our app, select add custom connector. Now, enter the name of the connector and then paste the custom MCP URL here in this box. Once done, click on Add, and our app is now connected with Claude. Now you can chat with your app data inside Claude, or even insert any data into your app. So Creo doesn't just build apps with AI, it builds apps for AI to use, creating a new category of software that fundamentally changes how humans and AI collaborate. Yes. So why is Creo AI special? Unlike traditional no-code tools where you're dragging and dropping elements, Creo uses conversational AI. You literally just describe what you want to build in plain English, and the AI handles everything. The front-end, back-end, database, and even hosting. Here's the really cool part. Every app you build comes with its own AI assistant built right in. This co-pilot understands your app's context and can help users manage data, answer questions, and automate complex tasks. Plus, Creo integrates with your existing tools through APIs and something called MCP, which makes connections super smooth. And there you have it. You now know how to use Creo AI to build fully functional, AI-native applications without writing any code. We covered everything from signing up and building your first app, to using the AI Copilot, adding integrations, and sharing your creation with the world. The possibilities with Creo are, are honestly endless. You're a freelancer who needs custom tools, a small business owner tired of expensive descriptions, or just someone with a great app idea, Creo puts the power of software development in your hands. You can join Creo AI Discord channel to get special tips and tricks and get instant feedback from Creo. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more AI and no-code content. Drop a comment below and let me know what you're going to build with Creo. I'd love to hear your ideas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Now go build something amazing.